What if I told you there is an add-on on Blender that gives you access to thousands of assets to create the photorealistic renders in minutes and also that this add-on is free. Welcome to another add-on review. These are series of videos where I will be reviewing Blender add-ons, very much what it says in the title. The reason why I'm reviewing these add-ons is to see if they are worthwhile having installed because obviously the more add-ons you have on your Blender software, the laggier and crash prone the Blender is. That's why we just want to... We Weed out the ones that are not really that important. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and let's just get into this video. Real talk, I actually have been still researching the video that I wanted to do for this week, but to hit those consistency goals and not leaving you without a video a week, I thought I will bring back the add-on reviews. Why am I saying bringing back add-on reviews? Basically, I started this series last year and I reviewed loop tools. This video is still up on my channel, but I wouldn't suggest you to watch it because it is actually really bad audio and I am trying my best to do what I can to create much better audio this time around. I definitely will review the loop tools again in the near future, not just because of the bad audio but also because I have worked a little bit more with the functions of loop tools and I find that some of the insights have changed about certain functions. Stay tuned for loop tools 2.0 but for now we are gonna review Blender Kit and for these videos I have certain structure which I'm gonna now just run through. There's four parts for it. First is installation. Is it easy to actually start with and install? The second part we are gonna look into user friendliness. Is this add-on easy to use if it's not causing any friction in your workflow? The third part will be is it actually worth having installed? The reason why I'm saying that there's a numerous of add-ons out there and are they actually needed to be installed extra or you can do it in a different way, for instance using geometry nodes or other uh, functions that Blender has already built in. And for the fun part we are gonna rate all these little categories so we can see where in the scale out of 10 the add-on sits. And of course these are only my personal opinions, you can take them with a grain of salt, but all the disclaimers out of the way, let's just get into this add-on review. And the first category is the installation. This add-on is not built in a blender, so we are gonna have to find it online. Let's get searching. And as you can see, the first, well, let's go to the website. And within the Blender Kit website, there are actually multiple different add-ons that you can look through yourself. There's a lot to go through. We are not gonna do that today. We are gonna do it in another video to get started with Blender Kit. You can see, register to full plan. I'm not registered. I just use the free version. They have the paid version and free version. We are gonna look only on the free version today. So let's just go to download Blender Kit. What's really nice is that they actually show you the steps how to install the Blender Kit to start using it on your Blender version, which is uh, definitely thumbs up in installation department. They are making it as easy as it can possibly be to start with this add-on. So we are going to download it now and we are going to basically follow the steps that is shown in their website. We're just going to speed that up now. As you could see, when I installed it, it crashed the blender. And this is one point in sort of minus area because when I used it before, it is quite a laggy add-on. And that might be something to do with my specs of the laptop. I am using Blender 4, which is the newest version of the blender. Uh, make sure you save your project as much as you can. Basically, as soon as you make the change, save your project. It does work. So let's just open a new file just new fresh project so the installation is super easy and i will grade it 10 out of 10 they give all the instructions on their website which is super useful and easy and i think there's not much friction that you can get from actually installing the 
Blender Kit. Let's talk about the user friendliness and I would say it is very easy to use. You, when you have it enabled, it's gonna show up in your workspace. So you see like this ribbon on top, that is your Blender Kit add-on. Actually a little side note on that. I have downloaded this Blender Kit add-on pretty much since like second month I have been using Blender and I really really struggled with the idea to use ready-made assets that is someone else's work. These the, just the dislike of using someone else's work in my work and sort of claim to be my own aka AI generated images. We're not gonna talk about that. But from the realistic perspective if you are working in a studio where you have to produce 3D renders in a high speed you are not gonna model all those little bits yourself. It's just your time in the studio will be way more precious. That is one thing that I, I struggled with this idea for a long time time that I will use someone else's assets but it's just what it is it actually saves a lot of your time and your time working in a professional studio is more worthy than just modeling different little bits that are sitting somewhere in the background so that's just a side note on the whole using assets for your work but this side note aside let's just get into seeing what blender kit actually offers us first as you can see we have the eye to show you the drop down menu to see all the all the images of the models that you can download. You see they have these um, lock in front, which means it is the paid version models. And let's just go through all the functions that it has. So the first is models, which we can just download and it's gonna load into our model. Then the next one is materials. And this is super, super useful stuff. Also creating materials, especially photorealistic materials can take ages. And sometimes you overdo them and then they are so heavy and laggy so this is actually a really good thing to have then we have scenes and we can actually just get the scenes for all sorts of stuff already built in a kitchen scene product studio photo shoot scene we have even architectural models like the parking lot and stuff so yeah we have a lot in the scenes as well where you can just like basically put your um product in the scene already. I tend to avoid that level of taking someone else's stuff and using it, but each to their own. Sometimes you have deadlines that are so close and you just need to get it done. The next one, we have HDR eyes, which is again, useful stuff. I have been sometimes looking for HDR eyes on like Polyhaven, all sorts of other websites. Um, if you're interested, I will leave the sources down below in the description, but it's nice to have it all in one place and being able to use them very quickly and very easily. And we also have sculpting brushes here. As you can see, most of them are locked. It's quite intricate to make your own brushes. So anyways, these are our things like categorize what we can find. Let's go back to the model. As I mentioned before, this eye just does the drop down menu so you can see what model you are actually downloading or finding. Then we have a bookmarks which you have to be logged in. As I said, I'm just using the free version. We are not gonna not gonna use that and we have this which is basically categories of stuff that is you can find and this goes for all the different for instance material you can find underneath here if you are looking for something very specific like for instance wood or whatever you can find them here and it will give you all the things that you could probably find under that category one thing that annoys me to go through so many pages and you see all of the models are locked and it's like oh i just want to use the free version so there is a little thing for it if you go to the funnel and you see the first one is the free first which instantly makes your life so much easier if you are using just a free add-on all of these are first what comes in your search banner all of them are the free assets which is great you don't have to scroll through 10 little 10 different pages to actually find the thing that you need and it's free I would say, in terms of user friendliness, I would give Blender Kit 8 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving higher is the crashing factor, which makes me a little bit anxious sometimes, that I have to save it constantly. Like, that gives me a little bit anxiety. But other than that, I find it super easy to use, very easy to understand if you need certain 
something but we are gonna put it to test okay what we are gonna do is i have prepared a little scene of a model that i did last year and it's this very simple chair which has like a rattan webbing and let's just stage the product in like an environment where it would be seen if you look at any furniture websites they always put just the product by itself and then sort of how it sits within an environment so what we are gonna do is create this environment using solely blender kit functions i have done this very simple scene as you can see it's literally just a space a camera and one area light just to give a little bit of light we are going to use all the functions that we can from the blender kit let's see how it works hit the control s to save it let's just get into this first what we want to do is probably start with hdri so let's get into what did I tell you? It crashes pretty quickly. What I probably want to do is instead of having it open in cycles, I will change it to just material preview. So let's control save it again. Well, as you can see, it crashes pretty easily. But let's second time. That's not good. Maybe I need to just have it on workbench setting. Let's hope that you are not crushing now. So if we go to HDRIs, okay, we are on it. Three first, we can add an HDRI that would give a little bit more the global illumination. So we have a lot of different HDRIs, something that is outside, not too sunny, I think. Maybe because I live in UK, it's not sunny that often. Let's go with this. And you can download it in a 512, which is the lowest resolution. 1K, 2K, 4K and 8K. I'm gonna just leave it in 2K, because I don't really need it more than that. We want to go to shading and add. But it has done it straight away. Oh, that's great. That makes it easier for us to not baffle with HDRIs. So, because we have changed that now, hit Control S again. We have done one thing that we have changed we are gonna now add some materials i would like a wood flooring so let's search for a flooring specifically floor yeah i guess that will work you can always also adjust these assets yourself and it crashed again this is why i'm saying just save it all the time fingers crossed that it doesn't Break again so we're gonna control save it again just to, just to be on the safe side let me assign a new material for take these parts and assign just a white material which we can then change to something else anyways let me speed this up a little bit So, a little update on my technical issues is that on Blender 4 it was crashing to the point it was unbearable. I have recreated the scene in Blender 3.4. So far, no crashes and fingers crossed it stays that way, but that is a massive, massive red flag for the add-on. I will speed it up for now, like just so you can see what we are doing here.
This is the final result of using only Blender Kit to create your scenes. Um, I think the result at the end is fairly decent um, in terms of like how little time actually spent on to create these type of environments. My thoughts on the add-on itself. It is very, very useful. It is worth getting it. The thing that I, I really, really dislike about it is how much it crashes. The solution is to go with older version of Blender. I did go back to Blender 3.4 instead of Blender 4. That's something probably what the developers of Blender Kit will address in later issues as Blender 4 is pretty new still and I think like there's probably just bugs that needs to be sorted out. I would give it 9 out of 10 because it is very useful and I've seen so many 3D artists using it. I definitely will rate down the user friendliness because you have to kind of go back to the older version of Blender to actually use it sufficiently where it doesn't crash every two seconds. So I will downgrade it from 8 out of 10 to 6 out of 10. Other than that, I think it's a wonderful thing to have. Go and have a play with it. There's so much what you can do with it. I rate this add-on 8.3 overall, taking in consideration all the other categories, installation, which was 10 out of 10, user friendliness, 6 out of 10, and uh, worth having installed on your blender, I'm giving 9 out of 10. So yeah, that's my overall rating for this add-on. If you like this video, please subscribe. I will do more add-on reviews. Leave a comment what other add-ons I should review view. Also leave a like, um, that really helps me with pushing this video to more people. Have a good day and I will see you in the next one.